Welcome back, everybody, to MCOC Al Bundy Rules. I got the King Groot buff tutorial for August 2021 buff. Always active. We see the immunity to bleed, power drain, and power burn. So we're going to see a little bit of that. You're also going to see throughout the video a little bit about other debuffs just kind of falling off. And I'll explain that in a little bit as we progress throughout the video. Let's get into theory buffs now. Unless otherwise stated, his Fury Buffs provide, and that's going to scale on the attack rating for 13 seconds. Whenever King Groove receives a debuff, you will spend one personal Fury after half a second to purify that debuff. So the ones he's not immune to, they're going to last there for half a second. You'll also notice that with Poison at the beginning of fights, it will fall off at the expense of one Fury. So Furies are kind of like currency for him, is one way to look at it. They're super easy to gain. They will fall off, but he can get them back pretty much every 13 seconds, and they can be used for certain things like debuffs, extending poison, other items like that. And I'll show you as we proceed more on that. And let's go into Malice now. Starts the fight with Malice with one Fury buff. You'll notice I usually start with more than that because that's the suicides will convert into that from the debuffs. They last as long as there's one personal Fury. So how do you know that Malice is still? Watch the Fury timer up there. When you gain the 100% Fury potency based on how long the fight is. Meaning the longer the fight, the more potent that they become. And when the last Fury timer goes off, you see that gray area, that's the cooldown. So we got the 13 second cooldown. The cooldown is actually very important. I'll cover that more a little bit later. But that's how you get those Furies. You see how I just got those Furies again? It's because attacks from either champion do that. But we're going to be covering that more in this upcoming section. But in the meantime, we are seeing how those Furies go. I'm going to jump to later in the fight. I just kind of cut out the middle section so you can see the increased Fury potency. So the Furies might not seem overly whelming at the beginning when you have a lot. Up to 100 seconds, they start to gain a lot more potency. We're seeing much more damage, meaning King Groot is going to be very good for long fights. Between his durability, I'm going to cover that. Extremely durable. And, of course, he gets stronger as the fight goes on. With Malice on cooldown, any attack from either champion, 20% to ground one Fury charge. One Fury buff for each charge acquired over into Malice when cooldown ends. So as I was saying, you see this 13 to watch this convert over boom to those Furies right there. Each time King Groot's attack is evaded, auto-blocked, or misses, gain two Fury charges. So again, you want to stay, you want a lot of attacks going back and forth while the cooldown is going. Because the more attacks for, from either champ, the higher amount of Fury you're going to have when Malice goes back. And now you see back to gray, you see those little gray with those little trade looking doohickey majiggies and again keep an eye you see how attacks how some of them is going to go ahead and extend that number and now we see boom there it goes back over to those theories so let's go into heavy attacks now this pauses poison and armor break debuffs you can get permanent armor break debuffs but if you don't do during malice they can they can end so you um can pause them with this very good for pausing poison i'll get more into that in the tips spend one fury buff instead uh for um if it's during Malice, you can use one Fury to pause it for six seconds instead of three. So that's very good for keeping the poison going, which is ideal for certain matchups, especially regeneration on the show. It's extremely important, too, if your King Groot is like mine and not Awoke. If yours is Awoke, you might be able to keep the Fury buffs, I mean the poison buffs up a little bit easier. Unawoke, those heavies are very important. Special one, three armor breaks. 100% chance to activate. So... These last for 15 seconds, however they last longer, they become permanent if Malice is up. All three hits have to land while that is up, so watch. So, you see right there, all three landed, so they stay permanent. If you start at the very, very end of the Furies getting ready to expire and you only get one hit, only one will be permanent. If the other two land when Malice is in cooldown, those will fall off. Keep that in mind. So, allow for time. Special 2, each of the King Groot, we see the direct damage. Tripled against robotic champions, 100% chance to inflict poison debuff, reducing healing effects by 30%. I want to show you this right here. Uh, one of the most tricky uh, Reagan champs in the game, the RO Wolverine, will see King Groot easily gets through this. 
you want to use the S2 doing malice, really all the special text attacks during malice, because that gives you at the cost of one theory, again, kind of like currency, it gives you 100% duration. So especially if your King Groot is not awoke, especially when you want to get that extra damage DOT, you see all that red, especially those regeneration fights where poison uh, slows down the regeneration. You need that during malice. It is going to be very key. And we're going to see Wolverine easily kept in bay uh, thanks to keeping that poison up during the fight. Now a special 300% chance for regeneration. Even if your King Groot is not awoke, S3 makes him very, very sustainable. The regeneration buff is paused while King Groot is heal blocked. It's paused. It doesn't go away. It's paused. Spin one Fury buff to increase the duration by 50%. So again... You want to do this while Malice is up because it's going to give you 50% more duration. More duration, always the better, right? So, big thing is, and again, don't worry about using Fury buffs to get extra durations on these specials. They're just going to fall off anyways, and then you're just going to get them back during the off. During the off batch, and as the fight extends, um, the stronger those become anyways. Now we're going to look at Synergies. We see the 35% uh, poison armor break, debuff duration, mole man, um, or mortal abomination. We see the one with crossbones right there. We see the friends, level 3, enemies, level 3, and nemesis, level 3. My personal favorite synergy is the one with eye bomb because you get the one we just saw there. And you also get, while mouse is on cooldown, you get 25% chance to inflict poison, modified attack over 12 seconds, and also a cooldown. So, um, if you use those two together, it's very good. Unyielding Might. So here is the Awaken ability. Sorry, I've only got this very low-ranked four-star awoke. So poison duration based on how long the fight goes on, max up to 100 seconds. The longer the fight, the better the poison damage or duration. And when Malice enters cooldown, you gain that regeneration buff. So I was mentioning a moment ago how he's still very sustain sustainable even if he's not awoke. If he is awoke, pretty much every 13 seconds you get a free regeneration. Not a very high regeneration, but that can definitely add up, especially in long fights while King Groot shines. This free regeneration keeps coming up, making him even more suicide friendly because of the fact you can recover the recoil damage with him very, very easily with these regenerations. So we're seeing that and of course we'll see the poison get longer duration as we proceed with this awaken ability we do see he does not need the awaken because my unawoke six star is doing pretty dang good would i like to have him awoke though of course which champ don't you not want to woke? Tips for using tip one, wait for Malice to be up before using any special attacks. I was talking about these little benefits at the cost of a fury or so, which you're just going to regain back a few seconds later anyways. Only do the special attacks with Malice because you get that extra benefit from them, whether it be more regeneration, better poison duration, or permanent armor breaks. It makes a big difference, so time it. If it's a longer S1, like a longer special like the S1, make sure you don't do it at the very last second of the special otherwise it won't get all three hits in give it enough time to make sure all the hits are in so you get that full effect from the malice abilities right there why get only one permanent armor break when you can get three for example on that s1 tip two uses a counter to tricky heavy regeneration fights by keeping up the poison so here again this rol wolverine all it is get that s2 in there this is even easier if your king groot is awoke but again that is not mandatory i got that s2 and I'm doing the S2 with the Malice for increased duration, and I'm using heavies, okay? I'm using heavies specifically as much as possible while Malice is up. Again, heavy with no Malice up while Malice is in cooldown gives you three seconds pause. While Malice is up at the cost of a Fury, it gives you six seconds. So just keep doing those heavies. It's very easy to keep poison. I can't let poison go away during this fight. Otherwise, this Wolverine, for those of you who are familiar with this fight, know his regeneration is absolutely insane, if not kept in check. And then we just keep pounding away, get that boom, 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 chakalaka through him. And we see this goes down pretty dang easy, along with that nice red DOT, regeneration and check, keeping those heavy. And you can stack those poisons too along the way. So very good for some of those fights. Tip three, even if your King Groot is not awoke, using S3 makes him very sustainable, okay? So I'm going to show you some clips of S3. We see I started the fight at 32% regeneration. 
and I'm going to show you the regeneration right here. So if you don't got the awoke, don't worry. You can do things like this. And I'm speeding up a little bit through the five where I'm just going through S3s so you can see where we're at. You see the health going up, going up. And we're going to slow down in just a moment. So we started off at 32% after a few S3s. We're already back almost up at max health very soon. Got another S3 coming on out. And look at this. We're back in the high 90s coming up. Thank you for this fight. Thank you for that S3. It does add up. And we are seeing that good old King Groot now is healing all the way back up to 99% in this incident. To four for maximum damage, start off with 2S1 while my is active. And it doesn't have to be two. You could do one. You could do three. It, uh, I guess personal preference. I was kind of, for a lot of champs, finding two is good. Malice must be up. Because if you see the armor break with the timer going on, that means you did not do get it all the way complete during Malice. And they're going to fall off. So you want to make sure all three hits in the S1 are complete while Malice is up so they stay permanent. So that's for the rest of the fight. So you don't have to refresh it. You don't have to worry about heavies, about pausing the timer just do it while malice is up and it makes it easy i do that at the beginning of the fight because i wait right so i start off all my fights with the least one maybe more s2s so i have those permanent after that i will switch to s2 even if you're running suicides like me don't worry you can recover health very easily from the recoil so you got the six permanent armor breaks now i'm going to spam s2s Again, my King Root is not awoke, so his poison doesn't have the same duration. But I will spam my S2s while Malice is up for the increased duration. And then I will use heavies to keep it up. And as I'm using heavies to keep it up, I'll be working to another S2 and launching S2s there. So my goal is always to keep at least one. Sometimes stack poisons up through the entire fight because it's free DOT damage. You see almost a thousand a tick right there. And it's easy damage. It also keeps things like the regen generation and check like I showed you a moment ago. Remember they stack. Attacks during Malice cooldown is what gives Fury doing Malice. Remember that too. So although you want to do those heavies to keep it paused, the poison, you still want attacks going back and forth because that's going to give you more Furies. One Malice comes back active. The longer the fight goes on, the more effective the Furies are. So I'm hoping this helped you on everything you need. Also don't forget to check out my other buff tutorial that I already did from August 2021, which was The Hood, another great buff. And don't forget to check out my other champion tutorial playlist, all my other good content, my walkthroughs. Don't forget to click that top left icon, subscribe to MCOC, Owl Bundy Rules. Turn those notifications on, share the video, share other videos. And don't forget to like. Thanks for watching.